In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After spending some time at Antioch, Paul departed and went from place to place through the region of Galatia and Phrygia, strengthening all the disciples. Now a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was an eloquent man, well versed in the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him and expounded to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wished to cross to Achaia, the brethren encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to receive him. When he arrived, he greatly helped those who through grace had believed, for he powerfully confuted the Jews in public, showing by the scriptures that the Christ was Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Dear friends, today the church remembers St. John Baptist de Rosie, confessor. He became a priest in spite of being from a very poor family. He dedicated his apostolate to the poor, the herdsmen, the laborer, and the tea sellers. He will preach to them early in the morning or late at night after their work. He would visit the sick and dying in the hospital. In the confessional, he had a very special gift, and so he was given a special faculty to hear confessions in any church in Rome. He would sit in the confessionals for hours and offer his time to the prisoners, the sick and the poor. In today's first reading, we hear of a man named Apollos from Alexandria, a Jew who spoke fearlessly about Jesus. He was well versed with the scriptures, but knew little about Jesus, although he spoke boldly about him to the Jews. And so Priscilla and Aquila took him aside and taught him the word more accurately. Filled with the spirit and enthusiasm, he became a firebrand of Jesus among the Jews. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us to ask the Father for anything, and it shall be given. For the Father loves us as the Son loves. Their love for humanity is perfect and divine. All we need to do is have faith and surrender ourselves to his will. Jesus has risen from the dead and is with the Father to listen to our humble prayers and petitions. And that's why we have nothing to fear, not even coronavirus. Let us ask for the grace of the Holy Spirit, who will make us bold and vociferous in our witness to Christ. We need to express and share our faith like Apollos, without fear, for the spirit given to us is not a spirit of timidity, fear, or shyness. As St. Paul reminds us in 2 Timothy, as we are stuck in our homes, let us share the word of God in our families. Let us be inspired by the richness of the word of God and let words flow from our lips. Let us give thanks and praise to him. We are surely not dumb and unintelligible, yet we fear to give expression to our faith in our families and in our small Christian communities. So let us break the shackle of fear, timidity and shyness, and let us express ourselves boldly and thus inspire one another so that we can offer support, confidence and gratitude to all those around us in this crisis. Let this be our reflection and our prayer for today. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank and I praise you for this wonderful and beautiful day. I thank you, Lord, 
oh your abundant blessings thank you for the gift of spirit the spirit of courage and boldness thank you lord for inspiring us with your precious word your word enkindles fire in our hearts lord give us the strength and the courage and the boldness to share your word with one another lord at this very moment i surrender into your hands the whole of humanity who is suffering at this very moment because of corona virus lord show your strength and your power and wipe away this dreaded disease from the face of the earth lord i ask you to protect each and every family to protect our doctors and nurses to protect and to heal all the sick grant eternal rest to those who have died today our ssc children are answering the board exams lord take care of them inspire them fill them with your spirit and also take care of the teachers and their guide lord at this very moment i surrender ourselves into your hands and ask for your abundant blessings to christ our lord amen, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.